dear contractors, dear colleagues, welcome to Coursel Offshore Wind Farm. After 10 years of development, engineering, manufacturing, the project is now entering a new phase, the offshore installation works. This project will be the fourth wind farm in operation in France and the second in Normandy. It will highly participate to the ecological transition. We want this project to be a success. And as health and safety are our key priorities, this means zero accident. Zero harm is key. We rely on you to continuously develop and improve security, safety behavior during the whole installation work. Health and safety are our top priority. We want everyone to go home safe and in good health. Safety is everyone's responsibility. We expect everyone to be committed as we care about our people, they are the main asset. We are building an open and common safety culture with all the stakeholders and we have selected contractors who share the same values. CIPM will design, fabricate and install the offshore wind turbine foundation and the associated transition piece. Prismian will supply the cable and install them. This cable will connect the wind turbine to the offshore substation. Chantier de l'Atlantic, General Electric and Deme will fabricate and install the substation jacket and topside. Siemens Gamesa in their new build factory in Le Havre will manufacture the blades and assemble the nacelles. They will also install them offshore. RTE will connect the offshore wind farm to the national grid. The UNM base is now constructed here in Wistreham and will serve now as the construction base. Calvados Offshore Wind Farm Project Zero Harm Charter is our main support to our project safety and environmental commitments. This zero harm target is shared at all the levels of the project in compliance with our employer and partners expectations. To achieve our ambition, we rely on the main principle, meaning a global, constant and personal involvement all along the project life cycle, with no tolerance for the unsafe acts and situations. We will achieve this by paying permanent attention to the activity to be performed, for yourself and for all the people involved in the activity. Watch, react, correct, report, for me, for you and for all. The implementation of a stop-of-work policy will give you the right and the duty to stop an activity whenever you see something unsafe or you do not feel comfortable with the safety of your task. You cannot be blamed when sharing your fears or concerns by stopping an activity. Please comply with our 10 life-saving rules which have been edited to avoid the most common accidents in our industry. I always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. Shoes, coverall, gloves, helmets, and safety glasses. Depending on the activities and the dedicated risk assessment, other equipment may be required. Earplugs, high visibility jacket, life jacket, or a harness. I only work on equipment whose energy sources are isolated. People who carry out electrical work must have dedicated accreditation meeting French standards. They must adhere to the five golden rules applicable to electrical isolation. One, protect and mark the area. Two, Disconnect the electrical installation. Three, prevent any reconnection by putting up a padlock and a signage. Four, perform energy dissipation. Five, ensure there is no remaining voltage. Always keep a safe distance from moving equipment. When I see moving equipment, I must position myself to avoid any collision risk with vehicles, drop object, pressure release. When possible, physical barriers should be put in place between such moving equipment and personnel. I must act in order to secure any loose object, 
and report potential drop object. Never walk or stand under a suspended load. When I see a suspended load, I respect exclusion zone and establish barriers. All lifting operation must have a dedicated lifting plan. Lifting operation must be prepared so that no one can stand under the load. Protect yourself from falls at height and protect others from drop objects. Working at height is a part of critical area on our project and can lead to fatalities. I always inspect my fall protection equipment before use. I secure tools, materials, equipment to prevent drop objects. I am 100% tied off to certified anchor point. Never enter a confined space without a permit, an atmosphere check and supervision. I confirm energy sources are isolated. Atmosphere has been checked and is monitored. I also confirm a watchman is standing by. A rescue plan is in place and I obtain authorization to enter. I always wear a life jacket when working near water and if no collective protection is in place. I always wear a seat belt and respect speed limits. Never use your mobile phone while driving. Never work or drive under the influence of alcohol. People suspected of being under the influence of drugs and alcohol will be removed from the work site. The construction of the Calvados wind farm is subject of several authorizations issued by the French administration. It includes obligations in terms of co-activities with other sea users and respect for the environment, in particular for local wildlife. Professional fishermen can cross the offshore concession of the wind farm without interfering with construction activities. Other sea users will not be permitted access to the wind farm during the construction period. As offshore professionals, the ocean is our daily workplace. We need to keep it clean and protect the species that live here. In line with the zero harm ambition within the HEC Charter, measures intended to minimize the impact on birds and marine mammals living in the area must be strictly followed. Your observations of mine life are also invaluable. A logbook of this observation is available on board the vessel so that you can contribute to the knowledge and protection of the surrounding environment. The work must be planned in such a way as to prevent any discharge into the ocean and to have the weak helmets to control any accidental pollution. In the event of pollution, the Calvados offshore wind farm and the local public authorities must be notified immediately. Everyone's behavior must be exemplary. Throwing a cigarette or any waste into the sea is strictly prohibited. Waste must be segregated in such a way as to promote the recovery as much as possible. Preventing objects from being dropped to the sea is very important. Dropped objects to the sea must be immediately recovered. For us, one thing to remember, health and safety are our top priorities. We rely on you to adhere and to improve our common safety culture by following the 10 life-saving rules and to apply stop work policy when needed. We expect you to report unsafe situation and positive observations and to know where to find risk assessments and procedures related to your mission. Be vigilant and get back safe home from your mission. Zero harm is our target. We all have to contribute.